hello guys welcome back to the gora channel in today's lecture i'm going to discuss about a bacteria which is known as shigella so before starting our lecture you must subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe it yet and do not forget to like and share my video so let's begin our lecture first of all shigella causes dysentery and dysentery is a clinical condition of multiple etiology characterized by the frequent passage of blood stain and mucopurulent stool so this is the difference between diarrhea and the dysentery in diarrhea there is no blood but in dysentery there is always presence of blood and the mucopurulent stool so the two common type of dysentery are bacillary and amoebic the causative agent of bacillary dysentery belong to the genus shigella so named after the shiga who in, in 1896 isolated the first member of this genus from epidemic dysentery in japan some other bacilli such as entero invasive e coli Vibrio parahemolyticus and Campylobacter can al also cause the clinical picture of dysentery. So, now I will tell you about its morphology. Shigella are short, gram negative rods about 0.5 micron into my 1 to 3 micron in size. They are non motile, they are non sporing. They are also non-capsulated, but fimbria may be present. This is the picture of the Shigella bacillus, which is a gram-negative rod shape, as you can see. Now I'll tell you about its culture characteristics. They are aerobic and facultative anaerobes. With the growth cam temperature range of 10 to 40 degrees Celsius and optimum of 37 to 37 degrees Celsius and pH should be 7.4. They grow on ordinary media but less readily, uh, readily than other enterobacteria. Pepton water and neutron broth, good growth with uniform in pepton water in, in, and in neutron broth they will show good growth with uniform turbidity on incubation overnight at 37 degrees celsius some strains especially fimbriative ones fimbriative ones means those who have fimbria form a surface pellicle on longer incubation enrichment broth in like such as selenite type broth in selenite type broth they will grow and enrich Shigella sonai and Shigella flexinary serotype 6 but is inhibitory to other Shigella. Tetrathionate broth and brilliant green media are inhibitory and unsuitable for enrichment cultures. Enrichment is better done in uninhibitory neutron broth or weakly inhibitory gram negative broth which is also known as gn broth after overnight incubation colonies are small about 2 mm in diameter circular convex smooth and translucent occasionally on primary isolation and frequently in subcultures a proportion of the colonies may be of rough type. Colonies on McConkey agar are colorless due to absence of lactose fermentation. An exception is Shigella sonai which ferment the la uh, la late lactose and form pale pink colonies on McConkey agar. Deoxycholate citrate agar is useful as a selecting medium. And Xylose lysine deoxycholate ZLD agar, uh, XLD agar, in which colonies are red and unlike those of most salmonella without the black centers. 
This is the picture of Sal uh, Shigella dysentery on the Mekongkia gar. As you can see, the colony are colorless because of the late uh, non lactose fermentation, means they are NLF. Now I'll talk about this resistance. Shigella are killed at 56 degrees Celsius in 1 hour and by 1% phenol in 30 minutes. In ice, they last up to 1 to 6 months. They remain viable in moist environment for days but die rapidly on drying. In fishes, they die within a few hours due to the acidity produced by the growth of the coliforms. Shigella uh, sonai is in general more resistant uh, um, other than the uh, than the other Shigella species. Now I'll talk about the biochemical characteristics of Shigella genus. Shigella are MR positive and reduce nitrates to nitrites. They cannot utilize citrate as the sole source of carbon and do not form hydrogen sulfide and are inhibited by KCN. Catalase is produced except by Shigella dysentery serotype 1 and a few strain of Shigella flexionary most in serotype 4a. Glucose is fermented with the production of acid without gas except for the Newcastle and Manchester by type of Shigella flexionary type 6 and some strain of Shigella boidi type 13 and 14 which form the gas. Fermentation of mannitol is of importance in classification and Shigella have traditionally been divided into mannitol fermenting and non-fermenting species. Shigella flexionary, Shigella boidi and Shigella sonai ferment mannitol while Shigella dysentery does not. Lactose and sucrose are not fermented except by Shigella sonai which ferment them late. Adonitol, inositol and salicine are not fermented. Thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe it yet. And do not uh, press the bell icon and please do share my like and like my video. Thank you.